Wonderful evening, my dear students. So, in this video, we are going to study about the new subtopic in our chapter search and also have a small topic to, you know, complete before we go to the second part. Okay, so let's get started. Now, first, what I wanted to say, uh, as I said about the small topic, it's nothing but um, it's just about types of search based on number of terms this is common thing based on number of terms okay now based on number of terms means as we know for exponents or random all of these you know binomial binomial and uh, multinomial or compound search right that's what we are going to basically learn today okay i'll let's see that and complete the video the first binomial search are the search where two terms are there. Search which are combined by plus or minus and have two terms. Okay. So, if we take an example here, we can say uh, root 2 minus root 3 is a binomial search and uh, root 10 minus 1 by root 7 is a binomial search, right? Now, let's see the second type of search. So, it's a quick topic to complete. Okay, then we have trinomial search. Trinomial search, by the name, you can understand that uh, search connected by plus or minus have three terms and have three terms. Am I right? So, example, I'll write it down here. Example, we can have 1 by root 2 minus 10 root, okay, root 10 and uh, root 10 plus uh, root 5 can do. Now, minus root 10 minus uh, plus uh, cube the root of 100. Sorry, not cube the root of 100. Let's uh, go with normal 100, okay? 100 or, uh, yeah, 100. And uh, plus uh, seven, root 7 by 5, etc. Okay? Then, the next type and the last type is compound third, which I'll try to adjust here, okay? Now, compound search are search, one second. Compound search are search with two or more terms. Okay, two or more terms. Now, so we can say that the binomial and trinomial search come under compound search, right? Now, two or more terms connected by plus or minus. Am I right? Example, we can have 1 by root 2 minus 1 by root 3 plus 1 by root 5 um, minus 1 by root 7. Can we? Four, we have, so this comes under compound search. Okay. Now with this, I guess we are clear with the types of search based on terms. And then we have another small topic, easy one. Similar and dissimilar search, okay? Similar search. Now, similar search and search are like two or more search. There are two or more search. We need more search to com uh, compare them, right? Two or more search having same irrational part, okay? Having same irrational part. Irrational part in the sense the... Uh, third part, okay? Not the numerical coefficient. It doesn't matter. Okay? Now, okay, irrational part. Clear? Now, coming to the examples to understand clearly, we can say root 2, root 5, uh, root 2 by 7, or... Uh, um, 3 root 2 
बाई फोर आर सिमिलर सर्च दे आर सिमिलर राइट सिमिलर सर्च दे आर सिमिलर सर्च राइट वन सेकेंड now i'll give you an another example to be you know more uh, clear okay let's say something instead let's try an another definition we have cube the root of 2 and 5 fifth root of 7 and uh, 3 by 2 eighth root of 10 if we have these can you say are they uh, similar sets or dissimilar sets they are dissimilar sets am i right cuz our part the irrational part which we have to have has different orders means they are not similar right we can compare to um, you know we can compare to when they are same am i right now are dissimilar sets they are dissimilar clear now with this we are clear with um, this we have two notes right now to you know just discuss basically okay now note points like uh, for addition or subtraction of sets they must be similar sets okay you can add or subtract okay we can add or subtract similar sets only we can add or subtract similar sets if they are not similar we will try to convert them similar sets now the next point is that for multiplication and division it can be both it can be uh for multiplication and division um the order must be same not the irrational part we don't care about the irrational part the order order must be same here these can be subtracted all of these can be subtracted uh sorry can be multiplied or divided because we have a same order 2 2 2 2 here am i right so they can be multiplied or divided okay for multiplication or division or division order must be same okay order should one second order should be same okay now the next to last point to discuss is the product of two similar quadratic sets will always be a rational set okay two similar quadratic sets now what are quadratic sets does anyone remember okay so as we have learned before only quadratic sets are sets with order 2 right now they'll always have a rational number it seems now i'll show you way a proof okay example let's take 3 root 2 into 7 root 2 if you go with like this similar quadratic sets so you'll take this into this 7 3 is a 21 21 uh, into 2 so We'll take twenty one into two, uh, because root two into root two is two, right? So twenty one into two is equals to forty two. Sorry, twenty one into two is forty two. Yes, correct. Yeah. With this, we are done with another. Now coming to the main part of the video, which I was excitedly wanted to tell you guys. is r s d 2 s d 2 is nothing but search subtopic 2 okay laws of search so this is very easy this is so much easy it's same as exponents nearly guys okay we'll see those laws right now and uh, try to figure out one second i'll choose a different color okay now the first law is that nth root a into nth root b is equal to nth root ab clear second one nth root a 
by nth root b is equal to n nth whole root a by b. Clear? Now, third one, nth root of mth root a, if you have something like this, is nothing but a 1 by a n, sorry, nm, nm, okay, which is nothing but uh, you multiply these two. We have learned previously that if you have under roots, then you can multiply these, right? So, you'll have nm root and nth root a okay is nothing but a by 1 m and m okay after third one we have fourth one here now fourth one is nth uh, sorry give me a second is nth root uh, mth root a power p if you have something like this this can be written as nth root of uh, a power pm, a power uh, pm, right? Now, yes, if you have a power pm here, mm -hmm. the question is like this, students. The question is a power p whole power m. And, uh, okay, this is the question. Now, excuse me for copying the wrong question. Sorry. Okay. Now, as I said, if we have the order and the power same, we can cut. So, we got nth root a power p. nth root a power p. Nth root a power p, just that's it. That's the value you get. Nth root a power p or nth, uh, a power n by p. No, p by n. Okay. Now, that is it for the main formula loss. There are a few extra points to, like, extra points so that uh, we can understand other particular problems. Now, the point, they you can consider them under the law. We can never take or multiply add or do anything and like if you have the the irrational part may the rational inside the root the number whichever you have should not be negative if it's negative it is not a cert clear it's an imaginary number clear now we have two certs let's say okay this is very uh important one if two certs a plus root b is equal to x plus uh, root y, then you have to know that a is equals to x and b is equals to y. Clear? Now, to show, if I can take an example here, uh, we can say if we have root 5 minus 3 is equals to a plus root 5. Now, can we say that a is equals to minus 3 and uh, b here, okay, b, I mean, you already got the value is equals to root 5, so 5, mm -hmm. clear? Now, we are done with loss of sooth. The next thing we are going to discuss, yes, the next thing we are going to discuss right now, is comparisons of sort. It's a topic to discuss, not to write. I mean, I'll show you guys, but comparison serves, serves is nothing but just a point telling us that certs can be compared to each other only when they have same order. Okay. Now, for example, for A is greater than B, so then, then we can say that root A is also greater than root B. Here. here a and b belongs to rational numbers okay now okay that's a point okay now let's try seeing um few reference problems okay first step first step first we'll see um if uh two let's compare to fra uh thirds okay Let's say fourth root of three 
or fifth root of two. Which one is greatest? Now to gray uh in order to compare, you have to have same order, but they don't have same order. So we are going to solve it. Three one by four is greater or two one by five. So to convert this powers into a same, you do LCM. LCM of five and four is twenty. So three one by four into uh twenty means five by five. 5 by 20. 5 by 20 uh, is nothing but 20th root of 3 power 5. Am I right? 20th root of 3 power 5. Which is equals to 20th root of 243. Am I clear? Now, we got this into 1. Now, five, it's 2 power 1 by 5 can be written as 2 power 4 by 20. Now, uh, we can write it as 20th root of 2 power 4. 2 power 4 is uh, 16. So, 20th root of 16. Now, which one can you say is greatest? This is greater. I mean, it's greatest, right? 4th root of 3 is greater than 5th root of 2. Conclusion, therefore. Clear? That's how you solve if you want to convert you convert it like that there's one more problem i want to show you guys i'll take a new slide leave it mm, okay let's say if they gave to find ascending or descending order 8 root 2 root 2 3 root 3 3 root 3 5 root 7 and uh, root 120 clear now we can compare this directly but we have other numerical coefficients outside right so we have to bring all the numerical coefficients inside so that we'll have a same then we can now 8 if goes inside 8 square 8 square is uh, 64 twos are 128 so 128 then root 2 and then 3 and this this number is 3 okay, okay? Now, uh, 3 square into 3 is uh, 9, 3 is uh, 27, root 27. And then we have uh, 5 square is 25, 25 um, into 7 is uh, root 175. Okay, and then we have root 120 here. Now, all of these are inside, so we can directly write down by seeing the numbers. We can say... Uh, let's write ascending order for it, small to big. Ascending order can be written as root 2. Root 2 is lesser than, one second. We can write it like this. I'll show you guys. Give me a second. Yeah, we can write it at root 2 is lesser than root 27. Root uh, 27 is uh, less than uh, root 120. Root 120 is lesser than root 128. Root 128 is lesser than root 170. Yeah. this is how you write now now we will see the last topic for today's video about basic operations okay now to see the basic operations which is nothing but uh, multiplication addition subtraction and all okay, operations now as we learned before that for addition and subtraction of certs uh, it is only positive I mean, possible between two similar sets, right? So what do we do is basically just add the numerical coefficient, add or subtract the numerical coefficient. Two plus or minus, okay? I'll tell you. Same, um, same or what do you say? Similar, right? Similar sets, similar sets. Similar sets. Now, we can give an example like, uh, okay, um, yeah, let's say 5 root 2, 5 root 2 plus 7 root 2, what do we get? It's 5 plus 7, okay, root, which is 12 root 2, okay, simple, that's it, like that you do plus or minus whatever you have, okay. Minus 2 root 2 if you subtract here. 
instead of add okay now um if i say we have different order um Mm. Yeah, let's say we have different orders. I'll give you a problem. Fourth root 81 minus 8 into cubed root of uh, cubed root of 216, 216 plus 15 fifth root of 32. As you can see, these all are not certs which I gave you, the rational parts. So let's directly figure out hmm? 3 minus 8 into um, 6 plus 15 into 2 Okay. Now you know how to do this, right? Then directly, just do it. If you, the answer you'll get a zero. That's it, that's the value, clear? Now, as we are doing in addition or subtraction, let's go with multiplication or division. Multiplication or division is nothing but by uh, using the law. If you have root two into root uh, three, etc. I mean, example, then root two into root three is root six because root two into three. If you have, um, mm, Yes, if they give you an example where the order is not same, then you just convert it uh, with the order same by process of LCM, uh, finding the LCM of 3 and 2. Finding the, sorry, this is root 3. Finding the LCM of 3 and 2 and then converting into that. So you'll have 6 root uh, 4, okay? And uh, for the root 3, yeah, for you, uh, root 3, you'll get uh, 6 root 27. Now, if you multiply these two, what do you get? 6 root uh, 108. Clear? Hmm? That's how you do. So, with this, we are done with basic operations. And uh, that's it. Just small, quickly, I'm done. Now, in my next video, we're going to solve a tiny, small worksheet. Okay, guys. Now, bye for now. If you like my explanation, please subscribe to my channel.